the system. There are old men and women who have worked all their lives, who have put in 35, 40 years for the right to a pension. There are old people who have worked 20 years only to be laid off and given a two-week severance check, abandoned, left to a living at half the pay. There are old people who have worked most of their lives only to witness the company go belly up and find there is no pension fund left. You can find them on park benches or wandering lonely supermarkets or sitting daily at neighborhood bars, nursing their drinks like a blood transfusion. They come in different flavors, like lifesavers, some thin and balding, some fat and sweating, some complaining bitterly, some too proud to let the pain show. Trapped by false promises, trapped by a belief in a system that has abandoned them. For the most part, they suffer in silence and die unnoticed, to be carted off in a meat wagon, to be cut open by a coroner who sees them as morning cereal going about his business, thinking about dinner, thinking about a glass of wine, thinking how it used to be, how it should be, how it might have been. It's the way of life. It's the way of rats and mice. It's the system where just staying alive becomes a small victory.